Good afternoon from a windy New York City. We're here at Columbia University Manhattanville campus. I'm Rob Mikula, Director of Creative Design at Crystal Fountains. And as promised, wanted to spend a little bit of time to show you one of our newer projects, um, this time at Columbia University, and acknowledge first that we were privileged to have been involved with James Corner Field Operations, Columbia University, Calco Construction, and last but not least, woo, woo, found technologies out of Chicago. From a contextual standpoint, this interactive water feature, which is what this is, um, is situated in the southwest corner of this new urban park. And the urban park is actually sandwiched between the two new business buildings here on site. So the way I would describe this water feature is small yet very, very challenging. And small for obvious reasons. This is only a 15 foot by 15 foot footprint. Um, it contains 16 clear stream jets that rise up to about seven foot maximum height. It also includes 32 LED RGBW ultra compact LED light niches. Obviously two light niches per jet. So that's why it's small. So you, you may ask, why is it challenging? Well, there's three main reasons for that. Number one is obvious, the slope on this, a typical interactive water feature would be generally level. Um, here we have probably about a 4% cross slope, which makes it challenging to contain the water. But how we've dealt with that in this case is introduced two 3 eighths of an inch wide slot drains. The first of which picks up the majority of the water for the lower jets. Um, the second picks up the balance of the water for the most part, unless it's really windy like today, um, and basically contains the majority of the water and prevents it from going beyond um, the immediate area and also helps us to contain the majority of the water so it can recirculate. So that's the first challenge. The second challenge is from a construction standpoint, the construction profile on this water feature is very shallow. Um, you, you can see Basically, it's exemplified by this valve pit. This valve pit is almost, is you know, just, just above the roof slab below. The challenge here in this case, we normally have a gravity drain that tees off this. However, we, we didn't have the luxury of doing that. We couldn't fit the pipe in there. So we simply have a hole in the valve pit that just drains water directly into the construction profile um, that is immediately below uh, and above the roof slab. So very challenging. The third challenge on this water feature is just the control part. We only have two pumps. So eight jets per pump with a VFD. The VFD obviously gives us the ability to maneuver the jets up and down, um, but we're pretty limited as to what, how we can program this water feature. So we rely a lot on the LED light, but it also forces us to be a little more, more creative when coming up with programs. And we did come up with about six programs for this water feature. So that's really important. A little bit more about the, the feature in general. I mentioned a little bit, but this is a closed loop system. So the water is being recirculated and over and over again and being topped up by potable water. There's about a 4,000 gallon reservoir located in the pump room, one level below. That reservoir water turns over every half hour or 30 minutes. The water itself is treated with chemicals, there's filtration, as well, well as UV. So that's really important to maintain uh, safe water quality because it is interactive water feature. We're in the latter part of construction phase here. There's a few things that need to be done to finalize this, but by the end of this week coming, we will be in a position to train the maintenance staff at Columbia University um, in conjunction with Fountain Technologies. We also have some more video we want to show you at the end of this segment. 
which we took last night, which illustrates the effectiveness of the LED lights on these particular jets. So we hope you enjoy that. But before I sign off, I wanted to say, first of all, thanks for joining me here today. And secondly, please join me in January, well, where I'll be reporting from Expo 2020 in Dubai. And we'll share with you several of the water features we designed at that project. Take care.